In the present video, we are going to show you how to do two-dimensional graphs in WX Maxima using the plot commands instead of the draw commands. We start with our document right here. We use these document, oh, I'm sorry, these, these buttons here in the lower left corner, which correspond to draw commands. There's an, another option it's called the plot commands, and we're going to start with a two-dimensional plot right here. And here we enter the expressions that will be plotted, could be one or more. I'm going to try uh, with a couple of them. And with x going from minus 5 to 5, um, we're going to work about those things later on. Inline means that it's going to show up in the document. And the options that we have here is that the set the zero axis it means going to highlight the zero axis. Size ratio 1 means the X and Y board will have the same ratio. Grid means you're going you're gonna to generate a grid. Uh, so let's try this one. And this is if you want to store it into a file. Now we say OK. And we get this command that gets generated. And you get the two, the two lines right there. And you got a legend showing this. Of, um, all right, so that's that's what have, how you have available right there. Regarding the plot format, GNU plot is the the default, and we're gonna keep that one. And post amble means the 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 the, the environment gets modified to add the axis and so on. That's what we have for, for that particular case. We could try uh, a particular, let's try like x square plus 5. But we're going to start with x at 0 0.1 because I'm going to do a log scale in x. And the, the y scale is going to be just the regular one. And we're going to set the grid here. So there's your logarithmic scale down here. Now, let's try the same thing again. Starting from point one <clears throat> to five, inline options, set grid, and we're going to do log scales in both, and so you get that. So it's the, in, in the, from the point of view of the menu, it looks pretty limited. You could try uh, learning about those commands or those those plot commands in um, in the Maxima manual to get additional information how to modify them to produce other other details in your graph. Okay, now it's going to go back to plot 2D. I'm going to remove the log scales and then I'm going to go into this spatial. You got parametric plot and something called a discrete plot that I don't know what not sure what it is. But let's try parametric plot. Well, you get this debugging problem. Don't play don't press stop press continue twice and then you get the parametric plot entries and so let's say that we make this equal to 3.5 times the sine of 2 times t and this one we're going to do 0 0.5 times the cosine of t over 2 and t let's t go from 0 to 20 for example and this tells you how many points are going to be generated to 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 do your um, parametric plot and so that information is entered in there. Um, I don't know if the x from minus one, 5 to 5 is going to be enough. So let's try minus 10 to 10. And then we can modify the things. And options, let's put this one. So that's what we get. Doesn't look so bad. Looks pretty good, actually. And that's how you enter a parametric plot. You could try a... Um, A polar plot. Uh, 
I've been doing the one minus cosine of theta because I, I just know what shape I'm going to get, but you could try something else. And so we go now for plot, plot to the spatial parametric plot, continue twice, and then we're going to enter for x r of t, multiply with the cosine of t, and for y r of t, multiply by the sine of t. And let's let t go from 0 to 20. And we get OK. And the x, I don't know, let's try minus 10 to 10. And options, uh, 0 axis. That's what we get. It's uh, the minus 10 to 10 it seems to be a little bit exaggerated. Let's gonna go from minus four to four. We can change that in here. Uh, actually, if, on the x and the positive side, we only need to go to like 2.5. I don't know the uh, left side. We need only to go like around minus 2.5. Oops, and an extra chromosome. And that looks more like the cardioid that I was expecting. And so that's for the plot to D. Let's write this discrete plot. Oh, okay, discrete plot basically means enter data here. And so let's like, say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to make up numbers here like 0, 2, 5, 7, 9, 12. And so we get the points in there. That's basically it. The, the, the menu, the plot menu, doesn't have a whole lot of options. So this, this example that I presented here will cover pretty much what you can do with the menu. And so for that, we'll stop this particular video.